Okay, so I'm doing this video because there's been a lot of, uh, as Donald Trump would say, fake news about the uh, coronavirus, and, and it just needs to stop because um, I was looking at this website here, Healthline, and um, I actually looked at Healthline whether they were a reliable news source, and uh, the media bias website that I like to rely on here says it's uh, pro-science and factual reporting is high. So it's the second highest level you can do. So let's have a look at this. This is what tr triggered me <laughs> into making this video that um, I was just perplexed in how this could get through any sort of editorial process. So they're saying, why you don't need to panic about the new coronavirus? So they talk about it here, but what, what drew, drew my attention was here, I'll, I'll just zoom in on it. Let's have a look. Uh, they they put this guy Charles C Bailey said that so far this season in the U.S. there's been a mortality rate from flu-like illnesses and pneumonia of around seven <laughs> percent. Just remember that figure, folks, because it's going to become very important. Seven percent, seven seriously, seven percent. He's saying. So I clicked I clicked on his link. Now um, now this guy here he needs to either sue Healthline. Or he needs to hand in his hand in his medical credentials because this guy is meant to be a uh, he's meant to be an infectious disease specialist. That's what he's meant to be a specialist, but he's it's just way off. And uh, let, let's look at let's look at the real numbers. What? Uh, so I looked into the flu season. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the, maybe there's this huge flu season this year in the U.S. Uh, so I looked up. The flu season here, uh, CDC, from the CDC, the most reliable source ever, Center for Disease Control in the US. Uh, so this was done on December 22nd. Now uh, let's have a look at when the article was done, why you shouldn't panic, sir. It was just a couple of days ago, I guess, February the 6th. So, yeah, they're saying it's a bit worse this year. But uh, as you'll see here, they're saying that uh, so far the organisation estimates that there have been 3.7 million flu cases, including 1,900 deaths. Okay, so let's let's do the maths. I'll go full screen here so you can look at my iPad. It's quite simple math, actually. Let's see if we can get 7% out of that. Anyone that's good in maths will say no straight away. But let's see let's see how far off this guy is. So I got my got my iPad here. So there was 1,900 deaths, 1,900, divided by 3.7 million. So 3,700,000 equals multiplied by 100 to get a percentage equals 0.05%. Actually, we'll, we'll get the camera to zoom in. Get the camera to zoom in on that. Zero point. <laughs> it's probably a little bit too, too close. <laughs> Let's have a look. Zero point zero five one percent, and that actually makes sense. That is, that is uh, what I keep finding. Zero point zero five percent for flu. That is the number you'll you'll see all the time. So what is going on here? This is total misinformation. That is a huge, huge discrepancy. So. These guys are saying, ah, oh, you don't need to worry about the coronavirus. Coronavirus is only 2%. 2%? The flu is 7%. No, 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 no. The flu is 0.05%. That's like, you know, 20, 20 times 7, 140 times out he is, basically. 140, he's out by a factor of 140. How can a scientist be out by a factor of 140 times? He's saying it's 140 times more than it is. So there's a bit of a conspiracy going on here. You know, my, my theory is maybe uh, they're trying to play it down because of the economic impacts. Uh, you know, put your theories down below. Why, why is this guy rambling on with this nonsense, absolute nonsense, about the, uh, the uh, uh, mortality rate? So let's go to... We'll go to WHO, this is the World Health Organization. Oh, I'll have to move my move my window because it is right over the data. Oh, I always do this. Damn. Let's move it over here. Let's move me over here. There you go. So as you can see there, uh, 
as of let's let's refresh it let's refresh it make sure we've got the freshest data possible and let's see the numbers that come up so coronavirus reliably they're saying two percent so let, let's see if that see if that works out two percent so three four eight two two seven two four let's do the math this is a math lesson as well let's do the math so I've got my got my trusty iPad again three so we got uh, 724 mortality divided by 34,822 equals and you can see there it's, it's basically 2% by 100 2.07 percent now I've got a proviso here apparently everyone's saying and I agree that uh, the mortality rate might be lower because uh, there could be some a lot of cases where there's no symptoms totally agree but um, it's never going to be 0.05 percent it is a lot worse than the flu and also you got to take into account there is no vaccine for this so you know I'm not, I'm not scaremongering here this is this is the facts there is no vaccine and what a vaccine does is it's, it's usually like a dead a dead virus and they and they put it in you know they inject it into you and and it's totally harmless because the virus is dead and all it's all it does is it um, gives your body a chance to make antibodies so you can fight the fight the virus when the real virus when the real live virus happens so you've got two advantages of this a it'll it'll stop the spread because uh, you'll have antibodies for when the real virus turns up and also it'll uh, reduce the severity so so the death rate should go down all right so that's why boys and girls you should be vaccinating yourself these anti-vaxxers that, uh, that YouTube are cracking down on I totally agree because they are causing a lot of trouble you need to vaccinate yourself all right so there we go. There's that's that's my that's my rant for today. Let's let's have a look what else we got here. Uh, I was looking here because uh, American Lung Association. I was trying I was trying to I was playing devil's advocate. Here. I was trying to let's move my window back to the corner. Why does it never zip onto that properly? There we go. Back in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Nobody puts walrus rider in the corner. <laughs> okay. Oops. We. Uh, Bang, bang on 10 minutes there. Right, so let's look at the, this is the American Lung Association. And page three, I believe this is on. Here we go. Age adjusted rate per 100,000. This is pneumonia and influenza. This is, this is like broadening, broadening the uh, conditions. And it's still not 7%. <laughs> it's still not 7%. And in fact, it's decreasing. You can see here it's decreasing. So let's be really generous here. Let's say it's 15, 15 per 100,000. Let's get the calculator out again. This is uh, 15, you just know it's not 7%. And uh, go full screen here. So if you have uh, 15, 15 cases divided by 100,000 equals multiplied by 100 it's actually lo lower than the 0 0.05 it's 0 0.01 percent you know what I mean this is this is like being generous too this has been generous it's actually this the last data was 2013 we're now in 2020 so you know say 2019 six years later it's probably dropped even more so I don't, seriously I do not know where this guy is getting seven percent from he's spreading misinformation Healthline should be ashamed of themselves it is not seven percent at all um what else, what else do I look at here we go life science life science probably one of the most respected websites in the world same thing talks about the coronavirus and says uh, I've got the numbers here as well. Where is it? I had this here. I just after this woman, I saw it. Okay, 
CDC, they're talking about the infection rate for um, coronavirus. Let's see the numbers. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Let's zoom in on that. You can see here, mortality rate, 2%. 2%, so you can see there in the middle of the screen, just above the woman's head there, the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus, has a mortality rate of 2%. We've done the calculations with the World Health, Health Organization, it's 2%. 2% versus 0.05% for influenza, and uh, even the lung lung.org has even got it down to 0.01%. Because just think of it logically, if it was 7%, that's like about 1 in, what is it, 1 in 15? 1 in 15 is 105. So, you know, if, so to say 1 in 15, you, everyone would know somebody who died of, of uh, influenza if it was 7%. You know, if you've got 15 friends, chances are one of them would have died of influenza, and that's not the case. I don't know any, you know, I know a lot of people, I don't know anyone who's died of influenza. And you can argue that maybe it's, you know, there's age, you know, it's more to do with, uh, well, especially pneumonia is over 65s and so forth, but still, across the board, they're saying that it's uh, 7%. That's just ridiculous. So, yeah, I had to, I just had to make this video. I wasn't going to make any videos on the coronavirus, but just had to make this video because that's just, I just, I saw it and I thought, this is just ridiculous. We don't want this misinformation being spread. It is not 7%. These, the influenza does not take out 7% of those infected. It takes out 0.05%, which, which is a number that see, seems to keep coming up. And uh, I did see, I think, I, I don't know if it was on this website. Uh, just, just flicking through in the background here. Um... Yes. No, I can't can't see it there. But um, just just you know, you can do your own research. It's pretty much it's going to be about 0.05 percent mortality rate with influenza, and two percent for uh, coronavirus. And other things we need to consider is we don't know the incubation period. Like they're, they're putting people in uh, quarantine for two weeks. What if the incubation period is one month? And uh, I'll do. I'm going to do another video. It's a bit of a conspiracy theory video. I'll do that one next because I came across this interesting article. Uh, it's a little bit of conspiracy theory, so I thought I'd do it in a separate video because uh, this is totally factual. This video, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. I'll see. You, I'll see you next time, guys. I'm going to do another video very shortly on this conspiracy theory. So click on that next time. Okay. Cheers. Bye.